The rock and roll lifestyle seems to have finally caught up with Dave Grohl in his mid-50s, which is not what I would have expected on my bingo card, but it's happened nonetheless. Hey neighbor, what's going on? My name is John. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters, Nirvana, them crooked vultures. You might have heard of them if you've ever listened to a rock song ever. Ever long, my hero, walk, rope. There's countless hits that the Foos have churned out over the past 30 years. And Nirvana, one of the most iconic bands of all time. And when Dave Grohl joined as the drummer, he elevated them to the next level by playing drums on the album Nevermind. But we're not here for our honorary circle jerk of Sir David Grohl. In fact, today he's done something, admittedly of his own admission, that's less than great. Let's take a look at the Instagram statement. I've recently become the father of a new baby daughter born outside of my marriage. I plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. I love my wife and my children, and I am doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. We're grateful for your consideration toward all the children involved as we move forward together. Now, Dave Grohl has several children, including 18-year-old Violet Grohl, a 15-year-old, 10-year-old Violet viciously bullied by the Swifties after some stuff that went down between Dave and Taylor and then Violet and Taylor. It was all just absurdist. I was totally on Team Grohl. In fact, I've been Team Grohl for a long time, so that's why it's so disheartening to see somebody this far into their career, you can have it all and still cheat. Cheating to me is such a scummy thing, especially when you're married, but it's the extra shit cherry on top of this awful Sunday when you do have kids and when you've been married since 2003. Now listen, I'm far too cynical to believe that any celebrity should be up on a pedestal, but it would be a lie if I said that I didn't at least a little bit subscribe to the theory that Dave Grohl is one of the nicest and most genuine dudes in rock, and that might still be the case. Who am I to say? People make mistakes, but this is definitely a large and public one, but one that I am glad that he got ahead of because how bad would this have been to hear from like the sun or some tabloid that caught Dave Grohl with his baby mama. I'm wearing the Fleetwood Mac shirt for a reason. Relationship drama, cheating, obviously they're not just rumors, but I know there's people in my audience that are probably on the older side of things, especially thinking, isn't this just the rock and roll lifestyle, man? Isn't that what comes with the territory? And uh, need I also remind you of all the other horrible dreams? drug overdoses, the many other horrible things that should not have happened in decades past just under the guise of being a rock star. I thought we were living in the era where rock stars were our upstanding citizens, he says with a smile in his eye, knowing that that's, that's never supposed to be the case. Your musicians are not meant to be your best friends. They're not your friends. In fact, idols that you look up to are in fact just that, people that you've put on a pedestal. Much like the Linkin Park subreddit, the Foo Fighters sub has been going gangbusters since this news dropped, and I agree with a lot of the assessments. Some people taking the whole rock star route, I get it, but I tend to agree more with comments like, Ankles here? I mean, cheating is trash, but at least my dude is stepping up and going to be a daddy for little Muffet instead of trying to bury it and pretend it's not happening. Cedric, I hear you like him young. Industry secret maybe, but come take a little peek behind the curtain. Dave Grohl has had some high profile relationships in the past that haven't exactly gone well. One of those being his marriage to Jennifer Youngblood from 94 to 97. He had a couple of others that did not end well and people are bringing that up again in the subreddit and other places where this conversation is taking place because God knows it's not going down in the comments or the likes which are turned off. Come on Dave, you're not going to leave the comments comments open on your Instagram post announcing the fact that you're a baby daddy to somebody out of wedlock? 
pussy. I joke, but this is not a laughing matter. He's been married to Jordan Blum since 2003. They've been together for a very long time, almost 25 years. They have three children. Emphasis on children, with just one of them now being 18, the others still being between the ages of 10 to 15. We also need to keep in mind that Dave Grohl has lost two incredibly huge people in his life within the past two years. Taylor Hawkins passed away, the drummer of Foo Fighters, one of the most immense forces behind the kit, Dave Grohl's best friend, passed away that same year his mother who he was incredibly close with Virginia Grohl dies and these are two deaths that probably left a ton of trauma with Dave a ton of unprocessed feelings and maybe that spewed out into him making this sort of mistake it's not my place to say, but I do think that context is important. I wouldn't say that being a cheater means you're a horrible person forever, or that I think you're irredeemable, or that it's some horribly horrific cancelable offense. I just think it's scummy, and while it's great that he's owning up to it and he's gonna be there for that child, unlike other musicians who have to be pressured into being a father, it's still not a good luck. Let me know what you think of Baby Daddy Dave in the comments down below, and if that sentence turns you off completely, then maybe just tell me your favorite Dave musical project, because I'm sure we would all love to take our minds off of this. I think I'm gonna go listen to the Them Crooked Vultures album.